vRealize Operations 7.0 is out now, and if you want to take advantage of all the new features such as continuous optimization of VRA deployed workloads, better capacity planning, improved dashboard creation and sharing, then you're going to want to check this out. Upgrading is easy, and I'm going to show you how. Because vRealize Operations Manager 6.7 included a number of metrics changes, we'll run an assessment of our environment to ensure that things are going to be okay. Now, if you're running vRealize Operations Manager 6.7 already, you can skip this process. We'll begin by logging into the administration console by going to the URL of our vRealize Operations Manager slash admin. And once we're logged in, we'll select Software Update from the left-hand menu and then click on Install a Software Update. Next, we'll upload the assessment pack file. Accept the end user license agreement and click Install. Once the installation is complete, click Support from the left-hand menu, and then select Support Bundles. Download the latest Support Bundle. Extract the Support Bundle zip file. Navigate to the APUAT data folder, and open index.html. In here, we'll see the impact of the upgrade. We can see that one standalone view will be impacted. Select it and scroll down to see the impact. You can also see the impact that the upgrade will have on your management packs. I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to proceed with the upgrade. Now there are two ways to upgrade your vRealize Operations Manager to 7.0. You can either use the vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager, or perform a manual upgrade. Let's look at the Lifecycle Manager first. Log in to your Lifecycle Manager, and then click on Settings. Now we need to add the updates to Lifecycle Manager by one of two ways. You can either click the My VMware tab and download them directly from the My VMware website, or you can manually add your product binaries. Let's take a look at that. Click the Product Binaries tab and add your binaries. I'm going to use an NFS share here. Make sure you select the Operations Manager, OS, and Virtual Appliance pack files. Then click Add. And once the binaries are added, we're ready to perform the upgrade. Click on the Home button. Click on Manage Environments. Then view the details of your environment. Select vRealize Operations Manager and click Upgrade. Review the pre-check to make sure everything looks OK. Click Next. Ensure all the information is correct and click Submit. And that's it! You've now begun your upgrade. To view the status of your upgrade, select Requests from the left-hand menu. The upgrade process will take some time, but it's fully automated. And after some waiting, you've got vRealize Operations Manager upgraded to 7.0. How easy was that? The last method we're going to look at is performing a manual upgrade. Log in to your vRealize Operations Manager administration console. Then take the cluster offline. Once the cluster is offline, take a snapshot of all the nodes in the cluster.
and be sure to uncheck the Snapshot Virtual Machine Memory and Quiesc Guest File System checkboxes. When the snapshots are complete, return to the VROPS administration console and select Software Update, and then click on Install a Software Update. Upload the OS pack file first. Accept the end user license agreement. Click Install. During the upgrade process, you'll get disconnected. Go ahead and log back in and confirm that the upgrade is complete by verifying that the cluster is back online. Go back to Software Update and upload the Virtual Appliance pack file. Accept the End User License Agreement and click Install. Once again, you'll be disconnected from the administration console. That's okay. Log back in and confirm that the cluster is back online. And once that's done, you can log in to your new vRealize Operations Manager 7.0 environment. And don't forget to upgrade your vROPS licenses to 7.0. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. And if you enjoyed this video, click subscribe below. I'm Matt Bradford for VMSpot.